It's Thursday, March 25th, a sunny day here in Seoul. Welcome to Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. North Korea fired two unidentified projectiles into the East Sea on Thursday, which are suspected to be ballistic missiles beyond the UN Security Council resolutions. According to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the projectiles were fired from the northeastern South Hamgyong province earlier in the day. Other details, including what type of projectiles were launched, were not revealed yet. This marks the second missile launch in a week after its firing of cruise missiles off the west coast over the weekend. However, if the missiles are confirmed to be ballistic missiles, it will mark the North's first ballistic missile launch spotted by the South in about a year. South Korea immediately held an urgent National Security Council meeting and expressed due concerns over the recent launches. China has tolerated tankers to use as territorial waters and infrastructure to illegally smuggle oil to North Korea. According to the new satellite images obtained by the New York Times, New Kong, an oil tanker identified by the UN for illegally delivering oil to the North last year, moved into a shipyard in China's Fujian province, but the authorities neither reported nor confiscated the ship. It was reported that New Kong is not the only tanker that China connived at. Moreover, China has not reported the amount of refined oil it has supplied to the North to UN Security Council for four months. According to Sai Shenben, preparations are currently underway to resume delivery by ground transportation between North Korea and China, which have been temporarily halted since last summer due to COVID-19. As China appears to be boosting ties with North Korea and Russia against the U.S., concerns are rising over the sign of U.S. tensions that can weaken denuclearization efforts. Global superstars BTS appeared on the popular local TV show You Quiz on the Block Wednesday, hosted by the comedian duo Yu Jae-suk and Cho Se-ho. In the 100-minute special episode, BTS members frankly talked about the blood, sweat, and tears they put into their career and how they feel about being a contemporary music icon they are today. When Yu asked about the pressure of setting a new record, she got said, Back in 2017, I was so scared to perform at the American Music Awards that I cried after getting back to the hotel room. J-Hope added, There is nothing that lasts forever. She got once said, I want to wrap things up with a soft landing rather than a nosedive. I really relate with that. Those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can always check out our official website, link down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.